like most of the time, whenever you see something like this, it's ignored by the mainstream media. But today, there was uh, four people arrested for shooting this young girl in the seat of... Uh, she was in the front seat of her car, just waiting for whatever she was waiting for. And the 17-year-old, De Devin Cordell Jones, was in a... I guess he was driven to this person's car or something. He gets out of the car and shoots the girl. Supposedly, it was some kind of robbery gone wrong, but that's like the bullshit fucking story that everybody seems to give you. And then three other people, Kaishira Michelle Deans, 19, Nizeria Zamir Collins, and Tariq Kume Rogers, 19, 19, and 18, were also arrested with a felony charge of accessory after the fact because they were trying to drive Dor Dave Devin Cornell Jones out of the city to avoid arrest. Even one of the girls, the uh, I believe, to be honest, I'm not really sure which, which one it is. I think it's the Collins chick was all crying in court trying to say oh I, I don't I don't want to, to have a million dollars in bail and all this kind of shit and the judge wasn't having a moment of that shit. Veronica Lee Baker makes me wonder if the Baker family wants their daughter back I can't really tell what that gobbledygook you were talking about but I think you said you don't want a million dollar bond because you want to get back to your son well I could fucking guarantee that he is actually better off not having a disgusting fucking cunt like you around in his life. Supposedly, as it goes, they were in possession of stolen goods, felony financial card theft, misdemeanor contributing to the delinquency of a juvenile, misdemeanor conspiracy, and financial card fraud. You know, I could just say, especially the one with the fucking neck tattoo right here, just three loser kids who spent their loser fucking lives getting nowhere in life, then seeing someone who had plans to go to university to actually be someone in their life, someone who probably had to try throughout their entire lives without having the, the backup plan of, it was wastest, it, it was so wastest. Well, now you're in jail, and you, you fucking fat-looking cunt, you're gonna be in jail. You, you fucking dismissive-looking cunt, you're gonna be in jail. And you, you dread-wearing fucking little piece of shit, you are definitely gonna know what dick tastes like before you leave jail. This is disgusting behavior. Disgusting, it was pretty much ignored by mainstream news, because if it was any... Well, let's be honest, there isn't any large groups of white people rolling around murdering fucking black people in wholesale fucking numbers. Because if they were, there would be mainstream news all over the fucking place right now. But there isn't any of those people. And if there isn't fake fucking stupid hate crime shit that we have to deal with, then there wouldn't be any fucking hate crimes anyways. Sorry. I think I'm getting a little angry. Anyways, the bullshit here, the, 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 the robbery gone wrong and all this other fucking bullshit, I mean, it's, it's all crap. It's all crap. It was a bunch of kids who saw a white girl who was doing better than them, who was in the front seat of her own car, on her way to college, on her way to doing shit, and just saw that as a threat. Because of all the stupid BLM bullshit that's been going on for the past, pretty much since the beginning of 2000, I would say. That's when all this pretty much started. 20 fucking years of a bunch of kids born around 2000, now around the age of 18, maybe 20 years old. And all of a sudden, they all think that they're fucking victims in this world. And all these white people are around here hurting them all the fucking time. When really, they're not. They're too busy at work doing all the fucking things they're supposed to be doing. This person's death shouldn't have happened. Not only that, this person's death should not be swept under the rug with mainstream media because it doesn't fit the narrative of, of clickbait bullshit of, well, white people did something bad. Anyways, if you like what I said, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you don't like what I said, please give me a thumbs down, but at least leave a comment so I can maybe change your mind.